was sleeping and I felt all the vibrations and I just knew we were pulling in. Oh my gosh, yes, Miami. Wow. It's just absolutely amazing and I'm just glad that I woke up to see us docking. We came down and then we're turning and we're going in. It is 5.16 you guys, 5.16 a.m. I'm gonna be on deck seven by seven with my suitcase, ready to go. Oh my God, I just <laughs> came out of the bathroom, I turned around, I just, I just saw this and I ran out here and look, it is a virgin voyages. And it's coming to port and I've never seen a Virgin Voyages sip up close and I want to go on this so bad, you guys. Cross your fingers for me, okay? And so yeah, they're at the very end. Like where we just were, doing that little turn right in front of the town. They're going down there. That's where they dock. And we're just like docking so you can see. We're just kind of scooting right in. We're already in the right position. And we're pretty flush. Look at that. Wow, that ship. Oh my god, I'm going on it. I hear a horn and I, I see... I know that's a ship, but I can't see, obviously. Just to pack up my stuff, but there's not much at all. Like, I got this stuff right here. There's my bag. And in the bathroom, I just have that stuff right there. So it's very easy. And then my clothes, you know, I didn't bring much. So all my clothes I wore that I had, I had um, two shirts left over. I had brought a couple extras in case, but it's all there. The bag, dirty, ready to go. Nothing else is anywhere. Like, I really don't bring much so that I don't have to worry about cluttering up my room and lugging a lot of stuff around and I can self-carry and it's just more relaxing for me and we're still moving if you can look out and see and let you know what just go people more time with that ship and dang it I got 25 30 minutes which is totally plenty um do I want to be up for breakfast at the Sahara buffet cafeteria it looks like a tall ship it's 5 37 and we just stopped the engine just went off I mean like we just stopped and that's a Royal Caribbean and maybe another one behind it coming in there's the Virgin doing what we did, so we could back it or pull in. Wow. I love this little suitcase. It's by Go Penguin. Oh my god, I love it. Everything about it, but I packed so much crap in there and it fits. I mean, it's a lot of stuff for a small suitcase. I just love that suitcase. Let's go get food. It is, I leave my phone to charge. It's like 610. I have my key. I have my matcha. I have me, I have you. Everything's completely packed and ready. It took mm, 25 minutes tops, including to get ready. Like, get dressed, lotion on. Just, I don't have a big routine. <laughs> Do have a routine though. Now, last night I went over all the debarkation stuff. So you guys know how that works. So you know we're going to the cafeteria to get breakfast and then be ready to get off the ship as soon as we can so we can go over to the Brightline Station in Miami, get some coffee at the coffee shop and then board our train to Orlando. I'm super looking forward to it because I super love the Brightline. It was awesome. 13. I'm so happy and excited. All these days I haven't been able to come up here to the breakfast yet at the Lido. I promise you I would. Oh, it's gonna be a nice breakfast. Oh my god, they have honey? That's the coolest thing. I've never seen honey on a cruise ship. Whoa, I have to have some, I'm gonna come back, I'll come back. I also realized, I, yeah, I didn't bring my phone, but I probably need to check the time, but if I just grab something to eat and then just eat it quickly, I mean, in a nice, not too leisurely manner, it'll be fine. These are the omelets they have. The ones in the dining room are so much better. They have the hash browns here, which they have in the dining room. They have delicious crispy bacon, which they have in the dining room. This is ranchero enchilada with potato, eggs, pepper, flour, tortilla, some mothered and cheese. I totally want that. There's some of those beans we tried yesterday and fried eggs. And then there's roasted pork links and scrambled eggs. I thought that was with cheese because they're kind of moist, but I don't think it is. Oh my god, they have ham and cheese and panadas. Wow, this is cool, guys. And then right over here, we have oatmeal with all the toppings, some veggies and cheese. Look, whitefish and jalapeno. It says mouse. I think it's supposed to be moose. Sliced smoked salmon, boiled egg stuffed with bacon, lettuce, tomato, and paprika. They have three cheeses and pinwheels. Look at this. Very warm and toasty in here. Oh, look at those waffles. Okay, so here we have whipped cream and bagels and breads. Egg and ham bagel. A baked egg with sofrito sauce, chorizo, and parmesan parsley. Hard boiled eggs and waffles. And then we have donuts with cinnamon and sugar. And there's regular donuts. Okay, wow, I love MSC. I really do. Mm -hmm. What to get, what to get, what to get, what to get. 
Like just the variety and stuff. Wow, they don't, it's, mm -hmm, this is my kind of thing. I'm gonna try one, okay. Mm, it's kind of early for that though. <laughs> I didn't notice the bread under the bacon. I wonder why that's there. Is it to absorb the bacon grease? <laughs> I want some crispy. Oh yes, crispy, crispy. Crispy as can be, please. Oh yeah, look at that. Delicious. Morning. And then over here we have the pastries, which have been delicious in the dining room. I like to get a plain croissant. I like these things. Where are they? These. We get two in the morning. They're chocolate twists and they're just delicious, okay? Absolutely flaky and melt in your mouth and delicious. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. Ooh, they even have pound cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should it. You know what, I'm gonna cruise. Why not? And now I'm gonna get some of this honey. How does it even work? I don't know where it comes out of. Oh, oh wow. I might have been doing that wrong. The only thing came over out was some leftover grape jam from last time. <laughs> so I guess we'll skip the honey. Uh, I'm just gonna sit right here and then come right here behind me and get some hot water and some milk for my matcha. I also need silverware. Oh, how I miss my almond from the dining room, man. Oh well. I also saw a lady with a bowl of like green looking stuff that looked kind of salad y and then some muesli. And, and down there where they have the salad station during lunch, they have more stuff for breakfast. No, it's way too much just mushy looking ham in there for me. I'm not even gonna try it, I'm so sorry, but <laughs> I mean, if you love ham, I'm sure it's good, but it looks like the consistency of like hash or something. Anyway, plus it's so early, I'm not really having an appetite. I'm just gonna eat the rest of my cheese, this bread stuff, I'm gonna try this pound cake. People are starting to come up with their luggage. Um, we're about to go see what time it is. It didn't take very long. I have my tea. It works really well because the water's like 220 degrees, and even when I add my milk, it stays hot. But anyway, breakfast was not a success. Well, it was because I ate something and I was actually feeling nauseous because I was hungry. Um, at home, I just eat a pack of Kodiak oatmeal for breakfast and that does me until lunch. Um, and I've enjoyed my breakfast all these days at seven. It was kind of early this morning. I wasn't feeling it. That empanada, okay, it looked good on the outside and it might be good on the inside, but it was just mushy ham. Like just so much ham. And I just couldn't even try it. And the pound cake, I put it by my mouth, it was so stale, it came right back out. I'm not in a bad, I mean, I, discreetly, <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> and those little chocolate Danish things that I said I loved, they weren't as flaky and melt in your mouthy as they were in the dining room. Yeah, so I ate the Gouda, which was delicious. I ate some of that bacon, like all the yummy crispy parts. I know that all looked crispy, but like half the bacon. I ate some breakfast and I think they probably have yogurt and stuff like that. I don't know if I need anything to have food on the trains and at the station, but it's very expensive. I don't want to have to do that. Oh, look, it's the Royal Caribbean dock in. It's much cooler than it was yesterday in the Bahamas. That's for sure. Timestamp is 629. I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. And there's 30 minutes left, so I'm going to relax with my matcha and read on my balcony. So excited. All right, I'm ready to go. Down to deck seven. That's the deck you get off. And if you're doing self-carry, you meet at seven, it says. So I have everything. I have double checked to have everything. Got my backpack, my computer. I got my pillow and my blanket. I got my Crocs and my tennis shoes. I got my walking shoes on for this. A suitcase. And I got everything out of the bathroom. The only thing I don't want to forget is <laughs> Sar's card. We love you, Sar. I'm going to bring him back on the ship. And this, guys is what self-carry looks like, okay? I have my suitcase, and this one is super maneuverable. That's why I like it. And I got my everything ready to go. Very, very manageable. Just gonna boogie on out of here. My cabin, oh my God, I love this cabin. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Loved it. <laughs> it hurts. I haven't announced anything yet. It's almost 7. It's probably like 6.50, 6.55. I'm just heading that way. Mm. Hi. Thank you so much. Mm. <laughs> Nobody wants to leave. Oh, actually, this is going to go. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. There's the outside wet wrap around walking deck and just going to the ship. This is where we got on the ship, I think, this deck. I don't know. I know it's only been four day, five days. Today's the fifth day, but it seems like, obviously not enough time, but then it seems like 
way longer than a few days. That's how relaxing the cruise was. And I'm gonna talk to you guys more in the train about my solo experience, but oh my God. I could stay on the ship for days more right now. At least two more. I could do a week by myself. I could. I am so prepared today. I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna be down here by the time they open it up. The sign to express walk off, it says this way. So I'm gonna turn around and go back. <laughs> Wait, duh. It's on that side of the ship. So I'll go down and there's already a little line. So I'm gonna go do a circle. I picked the wrong way. I was thinking we're getting off there, but we're not walking to the ocean. I love self-caring for so many reasons. The biggest reason, all the crowds and the hecticness and the craziness of debarkation day. Sometimes I don't like it. And the terminal, nah, I like quick and easy, fast and smooth. That's it, not very many people. Timestamp 6.59 and the line is moving. I'm glad I came early because it can get backed up. But I don't think there's many people and this shouldn't take long at all. Just gonna go out. Thank you everyone. Oh my gosh, you ever Dr. E. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, 1010 10 recommend this cruise. I will come back tomorrow. Uh, it was amazing and wonderful. Here we go. Ah, it's 7 a.m. So efficient. You want to have your cruise card ready to go because they are going to scan it. And you also want to make sure your count's closed or else they're not going to let you get off the ship. <laughs> oh, so sad. Oh my gosh. Oh, my ship. Oh. Okay, I'm officially off the ship. Oh. Oh. 10 out of 10, guys. Come on this cruise. Like, I'm literally... Uh, it's 7, 10 a.m. I just walked out of the terminal. That took, what, 10 minutes? It was just nonstop walking through the whole thing, you know, like you did to get on. Um, when you get down to customs, you have to show your passport or your birth certificate, but you have a passport. You only have to have it out. I mean, you're supposed to, but they, you just stand in front of this screen and then it goes, okay, you can go. So fast. <laughs>